Namaste children. Welcome to English class. Children, in my previous video, I read your sixth lesson that is the tree spirit. And in my today's video, I am going to give you the meanings of that sixth lesson and also I am going to explain to you that lesson. Please listen carefully. And if you have any doubts later, you can send me a message through WhatsApp or with the help of your parents, you can call me and ask about your doubt. Please look at your screen. I'm going to share those meanings of this sixth lesson to you all. Please look at your screen. Yes, sixth lesson, the tree spirit, meanings of new words. First one, spirit, spirit means what? the non physical or invisible part of a person it is considered as so most of the time we call it as soul atma we call it we cannot see it so we cannot see it is it is non physical or invisible part we call it okay we cannot see it now nodlik sadhyane illa irthakanta ondu bhaga so manushana ondu bhaga anta karate atma anta karate soul okay so for that we call it spirit spirit okay, second one tale tale means story t a i l not t a i l it is t a l e tale it means a story next folk tale folk tale means a story originating the society which passed by mouth to mouth it means it is from in the society it is uh, people who are there in the society they tell these kind of stories and they those people it is it, it will be passed from one mouth to another mouth just sometimes it may it may not be in the written form so it will be just passing from one mouth mouth to another mouth these kind of stories are called as folk stories or folk tales we call them then kalam c o l u m n kalam here tall or strong pillar which can support or decorate a building pillar we call it no pillar in front of our house when we are going to construct the building there we put columns columns means pillars strong pillars to build our house we put them they are kalam strong pillar kalam is nothing but strong pillar next foresters foresters means people who work in forests and take care of the trees and animals they are taking care of the trees and animals they are foresters they will be living in the forest then gigantic gigantic means huge or big g i g a n t i c gigantic we call it that one then splendid it means very massive it means very big then harm h a r m harm it means hurt it means making hurt somebody that is harm harmful we call it no that one then generations talemaru athwa pilige it means there are three generations people together they live in a single house for example ajja irthane ajja namaga nimappa nimappa namaga neevu Ahatara. you are belonging to the three uh, you are belonging to three generations okay ni majjandu one generation adare appa amma avaru one generation aagtare neevu matte one generation three generation it is called as pilige athava talemaru different generations you are belonging to different generations then breeze it means gentle wind cool and kind wind it will be blowing no that is a breeze insisted it means demanded something forcefully forcefully we are demanding something that is consider, considered as insisted then spare it means here leave i will not spare you it means i will not leave you like that sprung up around me it means grown around me grown around me sprung sprung up around me means nanna sutta beledirantaddu it means grown around me thrive thrive is nothing but grow healthy and strong 
सिक्सटींथ वन नोबल ऑनेस्ट और गो गुड ऑनेस्ट और गुड इट इज नोबल लास्ट वन क्रश्ड क्रश्ड इज नथिंग बट इयर डाइड ओके डाइड सो दीज आर द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस story the tree spirit let us go to that uh, story now i hope uh, already you understood this activity so what are the uses of trees so by seeing these uh, pictures we can tell that what are the uses of trees already explained to you this part in my previous video then let us go to the lesson once again i am going to read this lesson and explain to you listen carefully lesson number 6 the tree spirit a tale that has been told over many many years is called a folk tale it means any story it may be if they are telling for many many years if they continue to tell that story for so many years it will be considered as folk tale we call that one as a ಫೋಕ್ ಟೇಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಜನಪದ ಕಥೆಗಳು ಅಂತ ಜನರು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಬಳಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಕಥೆಗಳು ಜನಪದ ಕಥೆಗಳು ಸೊ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೋಕ್ ಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ರೀಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಫೋಕ್ ಟೇಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಟ್ರೀ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಕಿಂಗ್ so what is that story now i am going to read and explain to you now there was once a king in a far away land he had a grand idea once upon a time in the far off place there was a king he had a grand idea very big idea was there in his mind what was that idea see here so he was thinking himself on that thought it was there in his mind that i want a beautiful palace palace means what it is there uh, what what that is you know it already where the king will be staying that house will be considered as palace aramane so there he wanted to uh, build a beautiful palace and it must be supported by a single column in the center so it mean you wanted to uh, put or build a single column 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 means pillar on the pillar you wanted to build is beautiful palace it means that must be supported with single pillar single strong pillar or column like that plan he had this king he had that plan how to build that beautiful palace on a single column so that he was thinking and he wanted to build his palace like that means he wanted to build his palace something specially okay then the king called is the chief minister prime minister we call him no there there will be so many ministers in the court of king among them one will be considered as chief minister important or prime minister he called his prime minister or chief minister oh chief minister come here he, he called him then what he told to that chief minister here is there you see send men to the uh, men to our foresters he had an idea here about his idea is uh, telling that work to is a chief minister send men to our forests tell them to cut down the biggest and strongest tree they can find and bring it to me he told his chief minister that a hey, you call some workers and send them to the forest send them to the forest what they have to do in the forest they have to cut down the biggest and strongest tree they have to find it first and they have to cut it and bring it to me so like that he ordered to his chief minister then chief minister he replied yes your majesty majesty means oh my lord or king hi to maharaja we call it no so we tell it no so like that only here that the chief minister replied yes your majesty surely i will do it then the chief uh, the minister sent out 30 foresters 
Foresters means I told you already. People, those who live in the forest area and they take care of plants and animals. They are foresters. How many foresters he has sent? He has sent 30 foresters. That minister called 30 foresters and told about that order of the king. After a few days, they returned. They went to the forest, those 30 foresters. And after few days, they came back to the palace again. They went to find the big and strong tree. After few days, they came back. They returned. What they replied? There are many gigantic trees in the forest. Gigantic means, I told you, strong and powerful trees or huge trees or big trees. So they told that there are many gigantic trees. There were so many gigantic, uh, gigantic trees in the forest. But we cannot carry them and bring them to the city. They were big in size. They were big in size. As they were big in size, we cannot carry them to the city. They were big in size. Now how can we bring them to the city? So roads are very small. We cannot bring them to the city. And they are very strong and their weight is more. So it is not possible, they said. And forest, it means you know that it will be thickly covered with plants and trees. We cannot carry them, they said. Then king replied. When those foresters said like this, king replied, Very well, find a tree in the city uh, parks. In the city only there are so many parks. If you can't bring those kind of uh, strong trees to the city, just you find a tree in the city only. Instead of bringing that strong wood from the forest, you can find a strong tree in the city park and get it and cut it and uh, you can bring it to me, he said. So I will give you seven days of time, he replied. And bring it to me in seven days. I will give you only seven days. Go and get it within seven days. Like that, king ordered to his workers, ordered to the foresters. Then the foresters found a splendid sal tree that grew near the palace. They decided to cut it down. Splendid means one of the big and strong tree it was grown nearby the palace only. So next to the palace only there was a big sal tree. It was grown. These foresters they found this nearby the palace and they wanted to cut it down for the king. They decided to cut it down. Now those foresters uh, they were they decided to when they start uh, decided to cut it down and there were villagers no village people they started to beg them don't not to cut this tree so how they requested them that is here you can see oh please do not harm this strong and beautiful tree it means don't cut this tree or don't hurt this uh, strong and beautiful tree it is the home of an ancient and wise spirit. It is the home of, it means in this tree there is a, a beautiful and ancient spirit or wise spirit is there in this tree. Okay, In this tree there is a wise and an ancient spirit. It means which is soul, it is nothing but soul. Okay, We cannot see it. That soul is there inside this tree. And it is protecting, protecting us, it means safeguarding us for generations, from so many years, from so many years, from our, uh, uh, in the, from the time of our grandparents, from that time to till now, it is safeguarding us, protecting us, so that don't hurt this salt tree. Like that, those villagers, they requested to foresters. Then those foresters replied, it is the king's order. It is the king's order. What to do? We have not decided to cut this tree. It is king's order, so we came to cut this tree. They replied to those villagers. The foresters spoke respectfully to the tree spirit. With lots of respect, 
those foresters spoke to that tree spirit now it means they are they are going to tell that tree spirit what they told here it is there see you must have uh, you must leave the tree with within 7 days so we you have only 7 days of time within 7 days o oh, tree spirit you have to leave this tree like that they told and why they uh, the reason also they given those foresters given reason also to that spirit the king needs the wood from this tree to build his new palace actually king order us uh, ordered us to cut and bring this wood to bring, uh, to build his palace so that is why you need to leave this tree within 7 days like this those foresters told to that tree spirit respectfully then tree spirit that that started to think now which was there inside the sal tree what it thought this must not be allowed to happen this must not be allowed to happen it should not happen what to do how to control this how to stop this he started to think then what it decided then see the tree spirit became sad he started all night it was thinking of it and it became sad now and what it thought i will visit the king and try to change his mind i will visit the king and try to change his mind it thought himself that solitary it thought himself what can i do to change the mind of that king and it got an idea and now what that idea was look at this that night that night only the tree spirit appeared before the king in his dreams so king was he was uh, lying on the bed he was sleeping then the tree spirit it came out of the sal tree and it came or it appeared in front of the king in his dream he was dreaming here king was dreaming in his dream that tree spirit it was appeared in front of him and what it asked so the tree spirit is here it is asking something to him what it asked here i am the spirit of the sal tree o king i was as free as a breeze but today i learned of your plan to cut the tree down i have come to beg you to change your mind so oh my dear king till today i was so free all the people of this village they were coming to me and they were getting my blessings and i was so free it means like wind breeze how it is blowing without any objection like that i was very free till today but today those foresters told that you are decided to cut my wood and bring cut, cut that uh, salt trees wood and bring it for you to build your palace so it made me very sad so i am thinking of that and i am so sad now so why can't you change your mind please change your mind like that that tree spirit requested to the king it requested to the king then the king was not moved he was not moved at all then what he replied then suddenly in the, in the dream itself he replied to that tree spirit no i cannot yours is the only tree strong enough to support the palace so there are there are so many trees in this uh, in, in this city but you are the only uh, tree it means you are the uh, only tree means that is the salt tree only he is saying that that salt trees wood only it is very strong to build my palace it is strong enough to uh, support my palace that is why i want wood from this salt tree only i i i don't want to change my mind so i am going to cut this salt tree so i will not change my mind he replied to that tree spirit then the it, uh, the tree spirit it replied oh king for a thousand years p 
people have worshipped me from thousand years they are worshipping me worshipping means adoring aaradhane pooje so they were doing for me from thousands of years and birds have their nests on my branches on my branches birds are having their nests people rest under my shade people are taking rest under my shade it means there is lots of shadow no so they are coming and sitting under that shade and they are getting rest it means i am giving rest to the people and so many animals and b- birds they have their nest on my branch and also so many for so many animals i sheltered for example uh, squirrels i sheltered for squirrels and also i sheltered for some another animals which we which they live on tree for for them all i am given shelter so now uh, you are going to cut me so it is it made me sad like that the tree spirit replied to the king in the dream itself it happened here see that king he was not uh, woke up so just he was sleeping in the dream it happened these kind of activities they happened in the dream of the king so okay children till this i explain it to you today in my next class i am going to continue this explanation okay so then uh, after this send after sending this video i am going to share those meanings to your whatsapp group you can see them and take down those all the meanings in your english cw and also keep on reading this lesson every day okay until this lesson gets over okay take care have a nice day